Welcome back to the bench. So it's a little bit different video today. Uh, we're just going to do a pretty quick uh, state of the monkey channel, circuit monkey. Uh, and uh, the audio isn't going to be all that great because of course it's very cold and all of the furnace uh, and heat appliances are running at once. But I'll do the best I can. Um, we're, basically this is I, I don't I've never done one of these like this before but uh, some things are happening in the YouTube algorithm that I've noticed and I think that a lot of newcomers to the hobby aren't really getting a good uh, I guess the the term would be an, an adequate to, the algorithm isn't really showing them what they they probably ought to be seeing so I, this is just the first I'll probably do a few more of these uh, these are the, the channels that I use and can recommend them basic basically on what I've seen them do which is wonderful content uh, everybody in my opinion of this is a uh, everybody has their own way of learning so that's the only reason I'm on here I bumble my way through a whole lot of stuff and some people will learn by my mistakes and that's fine as long as at the end of the day you're learning that's what the whole point is at least for me so that's what I'm trying to bring to this whole little thing, which isn't much, but at least it's something. Um, and and these are the a lot of these creators that 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 are on my screen that we're going to go over real quick. You you've already you've probably already subscribed to them, uh, but there may be a couple on here that you haven't seen, and they're not really in the. I struggled really difficult. It, it was very I found it very difficult to try and put these in a particular order, but um, I, I guess it just I. I tend to gravitate towards videos that are long form with deep explanations and by engineers. Now that doesn't mean I only watch engineers. It just means that generally they do a pretty good job of explaining. A lot of them do. Uh, some of them not so much. Uh, they explain the circuits. They explain the theory. And then they kind of go over the math. And that's a really strong thing for me. I want to make sure that I can prove what is going on mathematically that's math math has never been my strong suit i'm not a mathematician by far but i like to be able to show uh, that that this is mathematically possible and and sometimes it, when you're trying to troubleshoot a circuit and i use that on occasion where you can go through and use kvl or kcl and and find out well, I'm missing some voltage or I'm missing some amperage or, or whatever and I can kind of figure out what's going on uh, why the circuit is failing depending on what I'm working on with that information so those are useful tools and I, I think that not everybody's going to respond well to that but I, I do so uh, uh, basically I also kind of look at it as I want to see a repair now that doesn't mean all of the videos are going to be repair late heavy or the channels will uh, some of them I watch, they never do any repairs, but it's it's kind of a broadsword. I, I like to take a big cut when I'm trying to learn a new thing. And some of these people, specif they specialize in a, a certain field of endeavor where some of them are kind of across the board. These are mostly the kind of across the board things um, where you don't have to be interested in one type of electronics to learn things. Um, so that's kind of why I, I've taken these. I have 141 subscriptions, which isn't a whole lot. I'm sure probably many people have more. I would say well over 80% of those are nerd related, uh, electronics related at least. Um, and it's very difficult to go through those and kind of pick out what are my favorite. Now, the one that we're on right now, Mr. Carlson's lab, clearly I don't know anybody that hasn't heard of him but if you haven't you're you're missing out uh he just happens to be number one because i i spend the most time uh, on mr carlson's page and uh, he's available on patreon he has a very specific way of doing things he's very long form that is not for everybody i love long form i could i could watch a three-hour video as long as i'm getting good content i don't care um, but we'll get back into this in just a minute. As far as is what this channel is going through right now, um, right now I'm in the middle of a, a washing machine fiasco. Um, I've posted a couple of videos recently of components inside of that washing machine as I was going through and testing it. This is my own personal washing machine at home. Uh, it just failed uh, in the middle of a drain cycle. Uh, and I'm having a hard time whittling it down. I'm a repair technician. I'm not that kind of a repair technician. So I don't think I've climbed inside of a washing machine in about 10, 
maybe 15 years. Uh, so this, some of this stuff is like, well, that's pretty advanced. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to get that repaired and, and that's taken up a large chunk of my time. Uh, but their work is ongoing on the, the Ico VTVM. It's uh, there's a lot of restoration to do on that. Uh, and right now we're kind of poking around on a chassis. I, I, I've been working on the face of the, uh, the, the piece as far as getting some of those scuffs out of it that's a, there's a lot of of, of uh, not really polishing as it's brushed aluminum but I'm trying to get those scratches out uh, as best as I can and of course there's there's other things going on with it so um, and also the uh, the all-american type tube radio that's also uh, still ongoing so we will we will get back to those but I'm trying to clear some of this other stuff off of my bench and get this stupid washing machine going um, so that's pretty much it for the state of the monkey. We'll, we'll get back to some regular videos here soon. I'm trying to make sure I get at least something done, at least one video out every week. Um, but if it's if I don't have any good content for you, I'm, I'm going to try not to waste your time with it. If I don't think anybody's going to get anything out of it, I'm not going to bother making the video. Uh, and this is one of those things where I'm like, yeah, this, this algorithm is kind of weird, and I want to I wanna throw some of these out here. Um, while I don't care if everybody literally clicks a thumbs down on my channel, because it's kind of horrible anyway, uh, and I don't care about the subscribers. It, it, as far as these other channels I'm going to recommend, it, if you do go there and you do like the content, please make sure you give them a thumbs up because it moves them up in the algorithms as far as who sees them. And for some of these new people, I think some of these channels are really important, especially, you know, de well, depending on what type of electronic. Actually, most of these, any type of electronics you're into, they're going to give you something that's going to be really useful. I guarantee it. And they have a lot. Most of these have a lot of content. And there is one newcomer that I want to mention. He's a, really the reason that I brought this up. So uh, having said all that, um, we'll go ahead and just kind of do a quick, just a quick breakdown again. No particular order. And I, I'll try. There's a lot of these that I'd like to include and I just can't. So uh, we'll have to do some more videos. So, so none of these are really in a particular order, but I do kind of have them uh, labeled as far as is general. So like with Mr. Carlson, he's he's a Canadian uh, electronics engineer, uh, and he repairs almost everything uh, that has a circuit in it. Uh, and, and he will go into in-depth explanations. Uh, he will do these beautiful restorations. I'm sure it takes him a while to get this stuff done. He's actually fairly accessible. Uh, he's on Patreon. So for literally the price of a cup of coffee every month, you get access to all his designs. Now, that I don't really know how to sum him up in one phrase, but it, let's say that there, in, in a lot of cases, some of this older equipment, they just don't make things that you would replace a circuit with anymore. Like you can't just get a circuit board and sling it into a piece of equipment because they don't make it and there's no way to, to repair the one that's in it. Uh, reasonably and Paul is more like you know hold my Molson's and he'll come back in two minutes and the thing will be just exponentially more useful more sensitive and it usually will have another feature that it didn't have before that's extremely useful like it's a uh, you know, you can vary the frequency or it uh, dispenses syrup or something like, I don't know, whatever. It's just, he, he always has a way of making it better and he does it in, in routinely pretty, pretty short uh, order. And, and when he does that kind of thing, he will make those plans available on Patreon and, and it always works better. It's, it's just, uh, it's phenomenal. So I, I personally prefer, I've been following Paul for uh, years now and he's, he's excellent at what he does. And his audio is just pristine. I, if I could have the audio that he has, which, you know, he's made his own microphone, it's, uh, it's nice. You can definitely tell when he steps away from his, uh, his golden uh, condenser can mic, you know, and, and gets behind the camera and doesn't have it. It's, it's clearly audio. There's a definite difference in audio, so he doesn't do it very much anymore. But uh, it's great when you go back into the old videos and you can hear the audio and you see how it got better over time. It's like, man, and he did all that himself. So he's a brilliant guy, and I highly recommend uh, following him. So the next guy, uh, I've seen his videos on and off, and, man, every time I would look up a circuit because I wasn't really sure, 
you know, oh, how do I do this? Or especially when it gets into some of this RF voodoo, this, this guy kept popping up. And I didn't really know too much about him until fairly recently. Uh, but this is a W2AEW, and, and that is, if you don't recognize it, that, that's a ham uh, operator's call sign. Uh, and his name is Alan. I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. I'm not sure if it's Wolke or Wolke. W-O-L-K-E. He's been on the uh, the Amp Hour with Dave, you know, from uh, EEV. Um, uh, this guy actually is an RF field application engineer for Tektronix. So he's... You, his job is basically to go out. It's not, I don't really think it's public relations. He's an actual engineer and he's worked as an engineer in the field for decades. Uh, but, but at this point, uh, he has been their, uh, one of their main guys for basically going out and showing the general public or consumers, engineers, that kind of thing, how to use the Tektronix equipment. And he's also gets to help troubleshoot things, uh, with them on a routine basis. Uh, which which he enjoys, and there isn't a lot he doesn't know about. So his channel, it, he's going to have a lot of radio type stuff, uh, you know, RS type stuff. But he he also does have things that just directly involve basics, uh, you know, uh, with diodes and, and and how to use your uh, oscilloscope and what you might be doing wrong. And that's a big thing, you know, when you're trying to take measurements on an oscilloscope and look. Most of us are hobbyists. We we don't have an engineering background degree. We don't we don't have that kind of information. So when you sit down in something in front of something as complicated as one of these, you know these oscilloscopes, which which keep in mind, especially if you're new to this, if you have an oscilloscope, that's, let's say a Tektronix that was made in the 1970s, when that thing came out, you weren't going to go down to the local hardware store and pick one up for fifty dollars. That was something that a lab used. And over time, it became kind of obsolete, and now we're buying up that equipment, and that was intended for engineers to use, people that actually knew what they were doing, and now uh, this jackass, i.e. me, has it sitting on their bench, and I'm looking at it like it's an alien spacecraft going, uh, I don't know what to do. And I do that all the time, and I think most of us probably, you know, we, we know what we want to see, we're just not sure how to set it up so that we can see it. This, this gentleman is extremely good at kind of pointing those things out, um, especially in regards to Tektronics gear, but he doesn't just tell you about Tektronics on this page. He's going to tell you about uh, the differences between it, but you can tell he's not, this is not one of those things where he's just shilling for Tektronics. He will, he will mention different uh, oscilloscopes and how you can set things up, and it's he's really good at this, and, and I think uh, if you prefer the short you know, form, his, his videos generally are i think under 15 minutes i mean i'm looking at it we've got a couple of them that are a little over that you know here's one that's an hour and 10 but i mean for the most part i mean the basics of how to use an oscilloscope how are you going to wrap that up in, in five to ten minutes you, you you can't so you know it, it's it's extremely useful information and i don't think uh I, I think if you haven't subscribed to him yet or at least seen seen his uh his channel you're you're definitely missing out so uh let's see Here's another one. So X-Ray, I've got these kind of laid out. Um, X-Ray Tony. Um, look, X-Ray Tony is very long form. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's an electronics engineer, uh, and he specializes in medical equipment. But his channel is, is 100% just electronics. It's, it's basically vintage audio. Uh, I would say there's a, a pretty, it's mostly, uh, mostly solid state. Uh, he's basically doing restorations. I would say if you wanted to try and pigeonhole the channel into one specific spot, it would basically be restorations on solid state, vintage electronics, uh, tuners, receivers, amplifiers. Uh, but he does go into a lot of other things. He breaks down a lot of, a lot of his, his videos. They're all long form. Again, I love long form. His idea of a short video is kind of like mine, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but it's very in depth, and he's he's an excellent teacher. He's a, he's he's the guy that you would probably want to be your dad or your brother or your weird your uncle, not the touchy one, but the cool one. Uh, he's just really kind. He's really he's quite possibly the nicest person on the internet, above even Paul Carlson. And, and Carlson's Canadian. I think I think it's a law they have to be nice, and and uh, he's he's even nicer than that. 
you can you can tell he genuinely cares about not just electronics but you when you when you have a conversation with him uh, in the comment section or if you're you know lucky enough to get uh, access to an email he's just wonderful and he takes time to go through emails and try and respond to those and that I, I don't even do that. If you send me an email, good luck. It's, it's, it's a crapshoot as to whether I'm going to get back to you. And I've only got 400 people. He's got 26,000 subscribers, so uh, that's a lot. Uh, and he's taken a lot of time out of his day. So because he's an engineer, he can break it down. Uh, and, and he also understands that most people that are doing this are not engineers, and they are. It's a hobby. So he tries to make it as easy as possible for everybody to follow and understand. And that's why he takes so long in his long form. Because he's thinking of things that you know you could misinterpret or you might not understand, so he's taking that extra time to explain it. It's really uh, beneficial. When I watch these things, a lot of times I'm looking for a specific piece of information that I might be a little gray on. But there's also other times where I'm working on the bench, I've got the soldering iron going, I'm trying to break down a circuit, and I just turn on one of these long-form videos, and I do this with him and Carlson, that's why there's so many views on both of them from me, uh, where I'll just let him go for 20, 30, 40 minutes, or, or excuse me, hours, literally, just while I'm, while I'm working here at home. So... Uh, that's that's kind of the way that works and and i enjoy it and i there isn't there's times where i've watched a single video a couple of times it's you know an hour long and i i learn something new each time i watch it so really good stuff um uh, i definitely highly recommend and one other thing that i like about him is even though he's you know he's in his 50s uh, you know, pretty easy on the eye for a 50 year old electronics nerd. I, I wouldn't, uh, I don't feel that that's uh, the wrong thing to say. Uh, but he's, he includes his mistakes. And I think that's a big deal uh, when you can learn from not only someone's successes, but also their mistakes. I think that makes you stronger is just as whatever it is you're doing, including in, in this, this hobby of electronics that we do. So I'm including these guys because basically that's a general knowledge when it comes to, you know, with Carlson and, uh, and, and, um, and Alan and, and Tony, you're getting uh, a lot of information, a lot of know-how in the content, whether it's short or long form. Um, and as we kind of go through it, it's going to break up. So, so the next one is Big Clive. Now, I, I don't think anybody... Big Clive is kind of a, <laughs> he's weird and I like it, uh, but he's, he's very Scottish. He's a lighting engineer uh, that works in the UK, spends a lot of time in Isle of Man, and he, he brings a different flavor to this whole thing uh, where he is very good at taking a circuit when he chooses to and break it down. He can, he can reverse uh, engineer it and kind of show you what it's doing. And that, that was the topic of a lot of his, the videos that when I started to follow him, that was a little lot of what he did that that pretty much encompassed most of what he did but he also gets into other things and, and he's into lighting he likes the color spectrum obviously he's he's uh, into some stuff that uh, you know, like lava lamps i don't really care too much about lava lamps but the circuitry that drives that is just like any other circuitry so uh, the more that you understand about how led drivers work and how resistors work with those or capacitors or you know how they can change the timing on that all this stuff is good information and i've i've watched uh, you know how they have machines he'll tear down that uh, they roast hot dogs with ac voltage <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting you know it's a it's a good giggle if nothing else also uh you know things that, that are out there that can actually hurt you like a uh, uh, light spectrum emitting diodes that will uh, cause cause issues uh, and and i will let him explain that so he's definitely worth a watch if, if it's just for nothing more than showing you uh when he tears things down you can learn a lot from that process, especially when it's done correctly. And I think he does a pretty good job of it. And he's, he's relatively entertaining with most of this. So, uh, again, if you haven't heard of him, which he's, you know, again, 24,000 subscribers, uh, definitely you need to go check him out. So this next one is kind of a newcomer. And I, I he's really the reason that the video that I wanted to do this one in is because I will search for terms like, uh, let's see. You know, I'll look into power supply. Let's say I want to learn a little bit more about design and power supplies uh, or how a bridge rectifier works or that guy. I've put in these search terms and I never got any of his videos on YouTube 
until last week. All of a sudden, this handsome devil just started popping up all over my screen. Um, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know why, because with those search terms, I definitely should have got them. And I went back his first video that is showing up on this page. I don't know if he's deleted content from before, or maybe this is another channel. Um, it's it's from, uh, I believe, April of, uh, of 2018, which means he's just shy of three years. And I have definitely been on YouTube of, you know, learning for better than a decade now. I should have seen this guy and I didn't. So this is one of the reasons why I'm thinking, hey, maybe... Uh, you know, get it out there. He's only got uh, just a little over, uh, well, just under 9,000 subscribers, which is which is a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it's not. I think he should have more. He's he's a. Uh, um, his name is Eddie Ahu, uh, A H O. I actually had to look that up. Uh, he's a power supply design engineer, and again, new to me, but he's been on YouTube for well, just under three years. And he's, this, this content is excellent. He goes into a lot of explanations of circuits, the basic components, uh, and, and he's a being a power supply design engineer uh, who graduated from a uh, college in, in Utah, I believe. He's, he's very bright, and he's really... I, I find him entertaining, and I find him good at relaying the information and keeping it pretty concise. His videos are, are relatively short, so if you're into the short-form thing, uh, you can go here and you can get a lot of good information. Now, um, I haven't... I would say out of all of his content, I've maybe reviewed 5% of it uh, because I just haven't had that much time. Uh, but what I've seen of that 5%, that 5% is golden. It's, it's, uh, it's excellent information, and I think everybody should have access to it. Again, a lot of um, explanations of circuits and their, their components, and it's from basic to advanced, so pretty much everybody's going to get something out of it. And uh, I think he's definitely uh, worth a watch. So, uh, you know... Give this guy a click, and, and again, make sure you're, if you would do, be so kind, click on, you know, maybe don't like or subscribe, or don't subscribe or ring the bell, but at least like the video when you watch it so that it goes up in that YouTube algorithm, because I think more people need to see this guy, um, and I think you probably agree with me. Um, so the next one, this one is where it kind of, again, I struggled with a lot of this, um, because most of these guys are general information. So is uh, Learn Electronics, but right in the middle here is, is, is Uncle Doug. Now, Uncle Doug is, you know, look at this, 95,000 subscribers almost. And if you haven't heard of him, it's mainly, mainly guitar amplifiers and mainly uh, tube-based, vacuum tube-based amplifiers. And he does absolutely beautiful restoration work. He's a retired math teacher, and it really kind of shows because you kind of, when I'm sitting there listening to him, I kind of feel like i'm in high school math but i'm not as bored because he's at least he's doing something interesting and uh, i don't feel like i'm watching paint dry so but he his his format's kind of interesting because he'll show you so much of him working on an amplifier or what he's got what he's showing in front of you and then all of a sudden he'll just cut to his dogs or you know the cat uh, and talk about catnip or which uh, which type of food they like better uh, or you know sometimes he'll he'll just interrupt with him working on a the 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 jeep that he has out in the garage or, or something like that and it'll go for just a minute or two and it'll pop back into what he was doing so he, he's i think he, i think that's intentional he's kind of throwing it at you to make sure you're awake and you're paying attention like he probably would have done with his students you know um but it, it's I, it's really entertaining and he does go into the theory the circuit theory so especially you know people get in into when you get into the vacuum tube stuff there's a lot of things about biasing um that if not done properly you're going to damage those tubes there's a lot of these tubes are either irreplaceable or they're extremely expensive so you want to keep those tubes healthy uh which is a good idea just with transistors you want to try and not overdrive them but you definitely don't want to overdrive your tubes and he's really careful about that kind of stuff he does an excellent job with his restorations it's really beautiful work and a lot of it is long form and he does have some shorter videos but most of it is long form and a lot of good information you know he's uh, he's going to show you new tools he's going to show you whether they work or not he's going to debunk some of the audio file theories uh, or audio foolery theories uh and show you why it's bull uh you know, it's it. 
it's really interesting information. Again, not for everybody, but just I, I wouldn't want you to make the assumption that if you don't work on vacuum tube equipment that you don't want to watch this guy because even non-vacuum tube stuff, he's got good stuff on transformers, um, you know, and how to check those out. He's got uh, just just a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of a lot of cap stuff, um, like really good information. So again, he's not he he falls in the category of working on on amplifiers uh, you know basically audio equipment but you're going to get a lot of information on how circuitry works even if that's not your thing so uh, definitely worth the watch um this next one uh learn electronics now this guy's name is paul uh he's in ohio uh also an engineer and he he it does a good job i think the the attraction to him is he's really good about labeling his work he's got a lot of content he's got over 100,000 subscribers and probably has a couple of videos on almost anything you want to learn about in a circuit uh and they're fairly short videos so it is a short format he's also available on patreon they do more things on patreon and he also gets into the Arduino kind of stuff. And, and when I, I poked into, I, I'm not a big Arduino guy, I, I poked into it. I basically got as far as making a light blink and I said, okay, that's enough for me. And that that's okay. Uh, maybe I'll get back to it someday, but for right now I got other fish to fry. But he also has all of these, uh, these videos. So if you're a little, you know, questionable on something or you want to learn something specific, chances are you can come to this page type it in that search menu and you're going to find something that's really close. He does have an extreme amount of content. Um, and again, 100,000 subscribers. Um, look, his hands are big. He's already addressed this. I'll go ahead and address it too. He's got congestive heart failure. So, it, you know, it, I don't normally bring stuff like that up, but I've heard it so many times. I kind of feel bad that he has to sit there and answer that question. It's yeah, he's a big dude and he's got a bad heart. So just, that's it. Just try not to comment on the hands and you know, use him for the brain. That's what that's what it's there. That's what he wants you to do. So he's giving you permission. That's why he's putting the stuff up there. Uh, use my brain. So uh, really highly recommend uh, Paul. He does. Oh, and this is the other thing. When you're starting off in electronics as, as a hobby, this equipment is expensive. You know, I'm looking at that bench over there, and I'm thinking about the trip to Hawaii I could have taken twice for a month including lost wages and i'm going and i'm about halfway to what i put on that bench so you see it's 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 really difficult to get started and have all the equipment that you need and and you'll never have it it doesn't matter how much you have you are always going to need more if you, you want to get away cheaper just go pick up a crack habit because i'm that'll probably be cheaper in the long run than getting into electronics having said all that there is cheap equipment available and a lot of people including myself would say don't get this because you're not going to be happy it's not going to do the things that you're going to do paul from learn electronics has a little bit more of a look this is not the perfect thing but it will work at least for you to learn and get the idea as long as your expectations are i'm not going to see everything that i would normally that i would be able to see with a better piece of equipment and then someday if i need it i will upgrade and get that piece of equipment so he does include these things like the stuff from banggood and the stuff from from ebay and the cheap stuff but he doesn't uh you know try and put a glossy shine on it but he doesn't you know and say it's better than it is at the same time he doesn't uh discourage you from getting it unless it's something that if, if it's, there's a specific thing about the device that he wants you to know he's really good about you know saying hey watch out for this because you're going to see that on this but you're not going to see it when you're on this oscilloscope or you know something that's got a little bit more punch to it uh but he's really good at, at going through the different multimeters and different types of test equipment and saying look this is you know this is usable to a point and, and without being too judgy about it, which I believe is very important because you can't learn this stuff if you don't have a way of seeing the circuits and how they work. So uh, so that that's kind of them. Then here's another one that uh, is kind of off in left field a little bit. John Audio Tech. Now, if you're, if you're into amplifiers, he's really good at breaking down different types of amplifiers mostly digital but he's got a little bit of tube stuff just a couple of tube things uh but you, you want to talk about class of amplifiers you want to talk about how much power they put out whether or not the nomenclature on your amplifier is correct 
uh, because he goes through, he has a thing for light bulbs. I'm not sure I understand it, but I don't mind it. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm learning things about LED lights. But he also gets into a lot. He was, he was an, he is an audio engineer, uh, uh, you know, electronic engineer, and, and uh, uh, worked for a company until uh, what sounds like an early retirement he enjoyed, uh, where he worked in the field. So he's got a lot of knowledge uh, on how these circuits work. Again, even as a full-fledged engineer, even knowing how these things work, even being able to isolate the problems, he still makes mistakes. And he includes those mistakes. He will tell you, well, this is where I screwed up and this is where I wasn't thinking about it correctly and this is what I found out. And he's really good at that. And I, I don't like it when people kind of sugarcoat their work. I mean, I've, I've done it a couple of times. I've totally admitted, you know, things that I should have put in the video and said, no, nope, I did that. And I, I just, it was to, to I guess, kind of shorten the time up you know but to, just to explain it but the more i thought about it afterwards I, I thought man i should i should have put that in there so now i try to include the mistakes too um and not gloss over them and say look this is a thing that, that you can definitely screw up for example the oscilloscope video that i just the hand tech that i just tore down i remember thinking i don't want to do it because if i break something in it and i'm not going to have my portable oscilloscope and when i was putting that thing back together some jackass put the batteries in backwards you believe that and now i'm pretty sure that the charging circuit is completely blown the oscilloscope still works if you plug it in but uh, i'm gonna have to go in there and poke around at it and see exactly what's failed because it is not charging and it didn't charge a new set of batteries that i paid thirty dollars for so i'm pretty sure that would be considered a mistake and had i known about it before i finished the video i would have included it but uh, I didn't realize what had happened until after those generic batteries are not labeled with a plus or a minus. And in my uh, enthusiasm to hurry up and get the bench cleared off, I put them in upside down. And sure enough, I, I pretty much uh, screwed up my charger circuit, I believe, on that. I'm gonna, again, I'll have to go back in and look. Um, so that's pretty much it I, I there are a lot of of uh channels that i would highly recommend uh if we had the time but i mean this video is already getting longer than i wanted to do um you know and some of them just don't fit any real clear category okay so like jeff uh, jeff escort lx here he does dash clusters now he i find them entertaining uh, basically just on the soldering level on the uh, you know how a, a specific um component works or what to be looking for in the power supplies for these uh, dash panels or you know these dash clusters and, and their drivers and that it, it, i don't work on dash clusters i'd considered it for a while but it's just not something that really entertains me that much but if if it's your forte he's he's very well spoken he's he keeps things moving along he's pretty practical um, and he moves things along uh, i would include him norcal 715 he's always got some you know weird new thing that he's repairing i'm just like okay and uh he doesn't put out quite enough videos i'm, I'm behind on watching him for a minute here but uh, it's just because i have so much other content to, to take a look at uh radio old and new i i almost forgot to completely mention them there uh, that's uh, m caldera he's he's really good He's a retired engineer, and he's kind of come back to vintage electronics repair, but mostly, uh, from what I can see, tube stuff. And again, he didn't show up on my radio until or on my radar until just a couple of months ago. So I haven't really had time to go back and look at all the stuff he does. But I know that when he does explain circuits, he's very in depth about it. Um, it's it's pretty good stuff. Uh, so I could go through here and mention, you know, some of these are guys that, that only have a few followers and they're learning, uh, you know, uh, or they've been doing it for a long time and maybe they know the circuit work, but they really don't have the camera set up or they don't have quite the audio going, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, so I'm trying to make sure that I'm following them along uh, and giving them a couple of, of bumps here and there, you know, uh, you know, Michael and, and uh, uh, you know, Gary, uh, th these guys are, you know, pretty knowledgeable about electronics they just are sometimes english is their second language or uh you know that kind of stuff uh def palm uh, if when it comes to uh, electronics test gear i mean he tears down literally everything uh and he'll either give you a review on it or he's showing how it was fixed and he has a ton of content he's also on patreon um 
let's see, elect, you know, some of these I didn't mention because it, everybody knows Electro Boom. Nobody doesn't know, I don't know anybody that doesn't know Electro Boom. Uh, but he's more of a, he's a theory, he's an engineer, he's, you know, he's showing you, he's kind of debunking things. So he's got, you know, it's, it's a little bit outside of the realm of scope for somebody that's trying to learn, but it's definitely good information to have. Um, Glasslinger, this guy makes uh, tubes uh, from scratch. Who does that? So definitely worth the watch if you're into tube type of stuff. Um, I think that's pretty, uh, SDG Electronics. Um, you know, let's see. Pop in here real quick. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched any of his stuff for a while, but uh, it used to show up on my radar all the time. Looks like it's been about eight months since I've seen one of his videos. I need to get on that. He has some really good... See, there's so much content at this point that I can't keep up with it. Here's one. Uh, Donkey Learning IT. Uh <laughs> He hasn't put anything up in a couple of years, but he has an excellent series on switch mode power supplies that uh, I know I've seen more videos in this, so I'm not sure why they're not showing up in red. Uh, just excellent information. Um, stuff that he may explain in a slightly different way. So, uh, Mike's radio repairer, he did CB radio stuff, and all of a sudden he's just kind of dropped off. I've seen where he's made some comments, but I haven't seen him put anything out in over a year. Um, he just had talked about saying goodbye to the... Now he This, I think, was a tease. I don't think that he meant he was leaving YouTube when I watched this video. He was kind of setting it up as a gag, and he was putting in a whole bunch of new test equipment, and then he just kind of dropped off so I, I don't know what happened there he's like I said I've, I've seen him in the last six months make comments on YouTube uh, constructive comments on other channels that I follow but I haven't seen him put anything out I, I wish he'd get back to it because he he was uh, he was doing some good stuff uh, let's see a lot of this is um, yeah I, my my uh, my list is pretty much uh, open for your perusal I'm pretty sure that my like uh, you know, my subscriptions are public view. If they're not, I'll try and make them that way. Um, these are just the things that I kind of play in the background while I'm working on stuff. This, you know, this old Tony, uh, he has really, he has a little bit to do with electronics, but he, he's more of a machining guy. And he, he, he's very entertaining. His video format is very well shot. His audio is excellent. Uh, his editing skills are excellent. He's, he is in all around as far as video content goes it is great uh, but it's more geared towards machining than it is electronics although he does talk a lot about CNC um, and and how to program that well what he uses to program these things and his sense of humor is right up my alley it's I, I love this guy he's a uh, he's great uh, but again it's not a hundred percent the you know, electronics it's you know 15 percent maybe um, and that might be generous, but the, the stuff that he does put out is, it's phenomenal. So if you, uh, if you enjoy machining at all and you haven't heard of this guy, uh, check him out. He's pretty good. Uh, I think that's about all I really wanted to bring up, uh, for now. Uh, again, I, I, there's other stuff out there and I'm sure I'm going to find more and this list will change. But if, if someone were to ask, this is basically, you know, Hey, I'm just starting out. What would you recommend that I watch? Well, what we just talked about. If you if you take a look at the first, I would say the first five people up there that are at the top of the screen: Carlson's Lab, W2AE, W X Ray Tony, Big Clive, and uh, Kiss, or Uncle Doug, uh, Learn Electronics. If, if you if you watch those, you're you're going to have so much content you'll never be able to go through it all, and it's going to be a lot to throw. But but it's all geared in a way that if you should be able to find what you're looking for. Um, and if not, it's going to point you in the right direction so that you can start to understand things, circuit recognition. There's other people that, you know, like uh, Lewis Rossman, he's, he did a lot of, of soldering videos and a lot of theory and a lot of fun. The, the issue is a lot of that content is basically about Mac repair, which that's, you know, that's a specialty kind of area. It'll apply. You can go in and poke around with it, but it's, you know, for this channel, you know, if you're just starting out, there's some things, but you probably have to go back in there uh, quite a ways to find the useful stuff. I, I don't say don't go. Lewis is fine, but I just, you might have to do some digging to get there. Um, you know, iPad, I rehab there again, good stuff, but mostly, especially micro soldering and that kind of thing. If you're somebody that just works with big through whole components, it's not going to, 
not be useless, but it's not going to be as informative as some of this other stuff. Um, and, and I would submit that, uh, you know, Dave over to EV, he's not really doing a lot of repairs. He's doing, a, there's a lot of useful information, but not a lot of repair stuff. Um, that's kind of where I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Uh, so I'll try and get another one of these videos up. And like I said, not so much my video, but if you go to, to the guys other channels, you know, make sure you give their video a like, or at least one or two videos a like, so that it moves them up in the algorithm so that more people see them. Especially if you're just like, if you've been on here for a while and you're just hearing about it now, it, make sure you give that sucker a click. Cause like I said, I think, uh, I think a lot of people would benefit from seeing their videos. And if uh, they're not showing up on the YouTube algorithm readily, Maybe we can kind of help that along. So uh, I'll keep you posted on the rest of the stuff, and uh, we'll get we're gonna get back to doing some um, some of the finishing up the restoration on VTVM and the uh, the uh, radio. Uh, so until the next video, uh, have a wonderful time. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And for God's sakes, just don't mimic the monkey. <laughs>